How about some bread pudding for dessert tonight? It's Thanksgiving and we're having a little bread pudding in step five. And so it is not a very difficult recipe. And what you're gonna need, I do it in a, a stone and then I put some butter inside that stone. And the bread I use for the bread pudding is I use English muffin. You, you, you can use white bread, just plain old white bread. I'm not sure it's as good as something a little more dense, like an English muffin bread, so you're gonna want that. And I got about 10 cups of diced cubes there. And then you have whole whipping cream, about a cup and a half of that, as well as a cup and a half of milk. You're gonna have two thirds cup of brown sugar. You're gonna have five egg yolks and some cinnamon and vanilla. So the first step is to dice the dice those bread slices. And then the next thing you wanna do is make the milk mixture. So you're gonna to wanna to put the brown sugar in with that, along with the eggs, the cinnamon, and some of that vanilla. So probably about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vanilla. It's always pretty good, so if you do too much, it never hurts. So we'll mix this up, let it set a little bit, and then we'll incorporate the bread here in a minute. We are making the apples for the bread pudding now. And so I have my uh, sous chef here, my mother, <laughs> Carolyn Spillow. She's cooking this up, helping me with the bread pudding today. And so we dice the apples all up and I'll put a tablespoon or two of butter in there. And then I add a little bit of sugar, maybe a quarter cup of sugar, both of the brown sugar and white sugar. So get a little of that going in there. Maybe, maybe just a little more of that sugar. And then some cinnamon, probably about a half a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. And we'll cook that down until it's about halfway done. And we'll incorporate these apples into the bread pudding when all done. But it's, it's nice to get the apples cooked a little bit before we put it in the bread pudding. So it's time to incorporate everything. So what I have in here is that milk, cream, egg, and vanilla mixture. And so that's set up for a while. I stirred it, got a chance to set up for about five, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and just pour that right over that, those bread crumbs, or diced bread rather. And we're gonna just incorporate all of those things together. Once we get that mixed up a little bit, then what I'll do is I'll take those diced apples that we cooked for, oh, about five, 10 minutes that are about half cooked. So I will incorporate those as well at this time. And once I get this all pulled together and mixed, then I'll let it sit for probably 10 to 15 minutes because you're gonna wanna let the bread soak into all that mixture. So you're gonna to wanna to let that set up for about 10 to 15 minutes before you go ahead and put it in your pan. And once we get that done, I will show you the next step before we get it right into the oven. What I like to do too, to get it a little more incorporated, if the bread happens to be a little more dried out, you may have to get your hands in there and kind of dice that, mix all that goodness up together with your hands and breaks that bread down. The more you break that bread down, it just melds together a little better. So you're gonna to wanna to do that before you let it set up. All the bread pudding in there. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And we'll make the sauce that goes over the top here in a couple minutes and that's what makes it. Enjoy. The final product, it's been in the oven for about 45 minutes at 350. Look at that beautiful golden brown. And then we're gonna put a little caramel topping on it that's out of this world. I bet you can hardly wait. All right, time to make the caramel. And here's, a, here's how it works. So you get about a half cup of butter, half cup of sugar, half cup of buttermilk. What you want to do is get that going and kind of mix it all together. Get it warm before you put the rest of it in. I'll show you what it looks like on the next step. Looks like the oven's done. So we're going to get this hot. We're going to get this mixing together. 
And then we're gonna ask, add the last few elements that make this caramel topping amazing. So once you get this sauce to a boil and uh, melt all the sugar, the next step is to add some vanilla, about a half teaspoon of vanilla. Here, let's put that in there. I might need a little more. And then we want some sugar in there, or not some sugar, but some cinnamon. And you're gonna want about a half teaspoon of that as well. So get that in there, half teaspoon in there. Get that going, a little caramel syrup. Get that in there. Mix that all around a little bit. And once you get the vanilla and cinnamon in there, last step is you want a little bit of uh, baking soda. So about a teaspoon of baking soda that gets it, gets it going a little, works it up a little bit. Uh, adds a little bit of body to the caramel. And we want to get that hot. So take a look. This is what she's going to look like after you cook it and put it all together. Pretty nice. Very tasty. Big hit. Yeah, big hit for the crowd. They're going to love it. So we're going to cool this down just a little bit before we put it on the uh, bread pudding. Okay, time to serve it up. We uh, got a couple slices here. It's hard to only do one. And then we're gonna take a little of this caramel sauce that's been sitting here for a little while. It's cooked up so beautifully. We're gonna spread a little on that love on there. It's so good. It's hard not to do a lot on there. And this is what it looks like at the end. Take a little bite, just like that. Mm. Amazing.